But here's what I claim. Pick any chain in your partition. I'll work with this one, but I, I'm really, really, really trying to be suggestive. Okay? Look at that chain. Now, you see your network? Nineteen prime, nineteen double prime. Nineteen prime, nineteen double prime. Is this one labeled or unlabeled? Nineteen prime. I I didn't draw the network. I, I you might be saying I, I don't know. Yes, you do know. 19 prime, labeled or unlabeled? <coughs> labeled or unlabeled? I, I, I see in my picture, I didn't label all the vertices, did I? I didn't, I didn't put a label on this one. Yeah. That's 20. Talk to me about 20 prime and 20 double prime. What about those? Is there any flow coming in to 20 prime? From the source to 20 prime? If there is, where did it go? Flow in is equal flow out. So there would have to be an edge 20 prime to something double prime. Is there such an edge? In the matching. No. There's no, the flow out's not used. So in the maximum matching, there's no flow coming into 20. That's an edge with capacity one that's got no flow on it. You will label 20 prime. You will label 20 prime. Let's write that somewhere. 20 prime is labeled. Explain to me why 19 double prime is unlabeled. You can't see it, but just explain to me why it is. Is there any flow on the edge between 19 and the sink? 19 double prime. Here's 19 double prime. Here's the edge to the sink. Is there any flow on that edge? If there was, there would have to be flow into 19 double prime. That would be a matching edge into 19. But there isn't, because that would mean there's somebody under 19 in the chain partition. So that edge is empty. If you could label this guy, you'd label the sink. You can't. So this guy's not labeled. So 19 double prime is unlabeled. 